Yo, what is good YouTube? It's your boy Wolfie here. Welcome back to I need to find my remote. Hold on. This is a great start, isn't it? This is a fantastic start. Welcome to the Atletico Madrid career mode. Once again, thank you very much for all your continuous support on this series. Do not think I don't see y'all. I do from a distance. And I appreciate y'all very much. <laughs> Trust me, you don't even understand how much I appreciate you. Now, this is big. Huge transfer offer for Nicholas Gaetan. I think I believe I mentioned in the previous episodes... Uh, I think it was the last episode of the episode before that I was going to transfer this guy time, which I did. And we now have an offer from Arsenal. Um, and I know Alexis Sanchez's contract is expiring in a few months time, I think nine months time. So could this be their way of saying that they're not going to extend Alexis Sanchez's contract? So we might be able to go in for him, but I'm going to negotiate. I'm going to negotiate. My assistant manager believes I can get something between... Um, or almost up to 52 million so uh, we're gonna see how uh, y'all know how Wenger stingy <laughs> with them uh, with them with, with that money so I'm gonna go up to 60 I'm gonna go up to 60 and see what they say he's currently valued at 25.5 million I'm gonna go up to 60 and see what Wenger says about that this is our fight he's so stingy <laughs> He is so stingy. Oh, man. The thing is, I, I believe I could get better, which is why I don't want to do it. So, I want to counter. I want to go propose another transfer. I'll go up to what my assistant manager said, or my scout. One of them, two, my trucker said this. So, we're going to go up to 52 million. See what he says about that. You are some stingy ass dude. Oh my lord, you are stingy as hell. It's, it's proven like it's in the game. It's, he's stingy in the game. Uh, look, you can see there. Um, it should. Oh, it did say it, but but yeah, I could have got between. I could have got something like 52 million apparently. But Wenger is stingy. We don't get him um, to, to accept our counter for Gaitan. So uh, we're gonna have to chill. We just gotta have to chill. I can't go in for no one because um, obviously your boy. Um, your boy obviously hasn't got any money. I've only got 10 million pounds. You've nothing. You can't. It's not fee for 13. You can't do anything with 10 million pounds. But this is the subscriber short list. As I've said, if you leave a name, I will put it into the short list and note it down. So we've got Christian Eriksen. Which, if I'm going to be playing a 4-2-3-1, Eriksen would be absolutely perfect. So shout out to the guy who said Christian Eriksen. But y'all can see there, we might have to offer between 86.3 million euros to 129. 9.2 million euros to have a chance at this deal that is absolutely mental i'm really happy that ea have kind of added the um the, the kind of the market how it is right now uh the state of the market in this game because um you know we ain't gonna be seeing too many op signings in this in this uh in this series i can tell you that unless we get some both budget uh you can see there that we might have to spend 57.9 um, or 79 million euros to have a chance to uh, get Alexis Sanchez and as you can see there it, sh it, it was saying it but um, his contract was expiring I don't know if they've extended it anyway we've got Casper Dolberg here but I've put him in this just so I can show you that Casper Dolberg has actually moved to Monaco in this game so I won't be able to sign him unfortunately until next season but uh, that is a big signer for Monaco and um, I'm liking all of these transfers that are happening within the game we've got Felipe Coutinho um, I would actually love to have him here 63.2 to 91.4 million euros is what we'd have to pay um, basically I'd probably just offer him his value um, you know what you know what i don't want to mess it up i'll wait till we get more money i was going to do a swap deal with guy but I'll, I'll wait uh then we've got Pereira. someone said ricardo Pereira. i think it would have been absolutely fantastic actually but he's actually moved to west brom again some of these transfers are absolutely sick and i love the fact that players are just ending up anywhere and it's not i hope it's not scripted um but i'm loving these transfers man honestly but yeah that's where he is so we won't be able to get him uh kingsley coleman was a great shout from someone and he's currently being scouted once i find out his value i may have to add guy in a swap deal to get kingsley coleman because that would be fantastic having coleman on the right and then having um having your man uh i forgot his name now <laughs> i'm jonathan 
Jonathan Bamba on the left uh, as, as our second option. That would be absolutely fantastic. The two French bosses would be really sick. Uh, we've got Dibiril Sidibe there. As I mentioned, I want to get him in the squad. He's currently being scouted as well. And then this guy was found by me, um, Radoja, Lemja Radoja. Um, he plays for Celta Vigo in La Liga. He's, he's got a release clause of 29.4 million euros. And I looked at him and we might be able to get him, as it says here, for 15, between 15 and 19. So that's not even a lot. And the reason why I've gone after him is because we do, I do think we need a bit more younger pacey midfielders and uh, not only pacey midfield not well he's not really pacey he is like the second Matic like I looked at him and I was like bro the, the guy could become the second Matic so I would love to have someone like Matic in the squad I've seen how Matic plays with United and I just think it's absolutely fantastic and there you can see obviously we signed Diego Costa last episode and uh, Jonathan Bamba the episode before so uh, those are our two new signings coming in January so that is the transfer stuff all out of the way our next game is a huge game against Barcelona but if we do get any transfer offers or anything like that in between that I will be back with y'all very very soon my boys <laughs> this game about to be dead Gaetan on the left Carrasco on the right strikers are Griezmann and Gamero midfielders we've got Sol and Koke as the center halves we've got Godin and Jimenez and then our wing backs or right backs and full backs whatever you want to call them Felipe Luis and Juan Fran with or Juan Fran and Oblak is in between the sticks this game is going to be tense very very tense but we're at home in front of the fans let's do that shot i'm excited you let's go lawson here we go the best game of the season the biggest game of the season match day eight has already kicked off of a bang atletico madrid versus barcelona and as you can see there just one place separates us on the table and Real Madrid are oh, top of the table now. Here we go, man. It's about to be lit. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm actually scared. Oh, my days. Suarez has got paid. Well, Juan Fran is declining disgustingly, which is why I need a new right back. Um, as I've been saying, we need a new right back in the squad. It went from the... Oh, my Lord. Griezmann. Finish. Griezmann. What happened? What happened? How? No, I need to watch this. I need to watch this. Wow. Oh, off the crossbar. Okay. I was wondering how that shot even didn't make it in the back of the net. I was very confused. I was baffled. Hey, no, 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 no. Oh, whoo. Iniesta, you need to... Hey, we know Iniesta can shoot, so I, I need to... Forgot about that, and I forgot about them long shots. The patch for FIFA hasn't come out yet, so I know them long shots about to be nerfed down quite a bit so um i should try and st strike a couple bushes while i can no one's closing down gamera for some reason no one is closing down ah oh, try to do a sneak pass there got the ball back to uh griezmann griezmann gonna take a finesse shot here and that's perfect and it hits off the cross the post can we get a pass in oh he passed it out too wide he passed it out too far give it back to him oh referee referee griezmann gets the ball back griezmann fighting for this goal hit the up oh, bro you killed the whole no you didn't. No you didn't. No you did not. No you didn't. You've let <laughs> Penal Jeff! Oh my gosh! No, no, it's not a penal okay. Rakitic, you just need to <gasps> right. Please, no 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 Oh in the back of the net, no It had to be It had to be this short little prick they Bessie. That had to be him. Oh, we were doing so well. That was the full man. I might even have to take off Kobe after that because you just you just got ripped. Near post finish as well. The absolute cheek. Oh wait, we could get a long shot. We could get a long shot! Oh gosh! Oh Griezmann. 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 Griezmann! You see the way he held up that ball, turned and found the back on the mount, and that was, oh, that was beautiful, that was, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at that, that is absolute world class, Griezmann is absolutely fantastic, and it looked like the circle was about to go left, and then fate was just sort of triggered, maybe tore something, I don't even know, my boy said, no, oh, never mind, too late. Griezmann gets another goal and helps us in this game. I'm, make, I'm about to make a substitution real, on some real talk. 
so you can come off like if you look at our squad like honestly it's just all aging like it's 31 uh, or 25 31 gabby's like 30 something um 34 you've got uh Gamero, who's 30 you've got torres who's 33 you've got your man's um his name now guy tan is like 30 like 28 29 like, it's just an aging squad, really. Philippe Luiz is like 32. Juan Fran is 33. <laughs> Godin is 31. It's an aging squad, honestly. It's a really aging squad. So, with that being said, yeah. Um, Fernandez is on. And then I'm going to bring on the boss, Torres. And uh, we need to. I think we need to keep Griezmann up. I think, if anything, him and Torres linking up is going to be very crucial to get his second goal here if we are able to against Barcelona. No, Torres. Torres. Torres oh what a save there we go a 1-1 one, one draw against Barcelona I'll take that I shall take that hold that w and progress walk off walk, yeah you'd be disappointed you absolute side man anyway a 1-1 one, one draw Griezmann saves us of course he does because he's the boat and Eniesta had a fantastic game to be honest but uh, apparently so got man of the match and um yeah <laughs> boy tense we on to the next game my boys my boys now a lot of you have said that i should take the international management role thingamajiggy and i'm gonna take france taking it taking it um obviously the world cup is next year in the game time that is um, so, and in real life, actually. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> um, so, yeah, your boy is managing France. And left France. Is that a thing? No, left France. Is that a thing? I don't know. Anyway, game here in the um, Champions Cup. And as you can see there, we are top of our table uh, by uh, two points there. So, we're against Chelsea, who are second on the table. Hopefully, we can pick up a win. It's going to be a tense game. We're coming up against Diego Costa. And y'all know what happened last time we came up against Chelsea. It wasn't pleasant. So, um, you know, yeah, hopefully it, the fortunes change up in the mix because I want to get a win up in the mix. So we're at old, we're, I was about to say Old Trafford. Bruh, just play the game. Chelsea, you don't want this work. You do not want this because I'm coming at you full blast. Pause. Yeah, Champions Cup. Champions Line. You see our fans in the court. Look at that. The whole stadium dominated by the... You're not even going to give us that half the stadium because we've got supporters. We need to put some respect on our name. This is how Chelsea are lining up. They got Diego Costa up the top. The new Atletico Madrid striker. Oh, it sounds very fantastic. It does. Eden Hazard on the left, William on the right. Kante and Bakayoko in the midfield. There, they got Leighton Baines. They signed Leighton Baines, and not only have they signed him, he's now the captain of Chelsea. Let me know what y'all think about that. Any Chelsea supporters watching this? That is a uh, an interesting situation there. David Luiz, <clears throat> Gary Cahill there, and Mario Gasper as right back with a uh, Courtois in goal. Let's see how that back five lines up, man. That is that is this, this man Kante is a problem. This man Kante is an absolute problem on this game. Look at him. Look at him. Look at look. Hey hey hey. Listen, chill. Hazard just left me. Hazard just left me. They swap wings now. I think William is... Uh, is of course. And, 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 and look who scored. Look who scored. Look who had scored. He's too good on this game. He's actually... They just run through the whole billboard situation thing. But Kante is actually too good on this game. Uh, and he moves exactly... He just... You can't... Ah, oh, Kante. You know, you know what, yeah, I cannot break down Chelsea's five at the back. Two strikers is not going to work. So, you know what? Forget all this. Forget it all. Forget it. About to, about to go, about to go flipping Pep-esque. Watch, watch, watch me. Watch me. Yeah? Watch me. Y'all think, y'all think this is a joke, honestly. I think some of you think this is a joke. Drop you down. CF, right? Bring you up. Oh, it's not going to work, is it? Right, move Griezmann up the top. Striker, and hey, that's the one. Then bring you hit. I said... How? Right, we'll have to leave you there. Bring you in the middle, like so. 
CM. Bring y'all up on the top. They said left, nah, left wing back. And then right wing back. That's that Pep Man City attacking thingy with Jiggy. I'm about to go off. Bro. David Luiz catching who, please? Boom! David Luiz catching. Yo. Take a shot. Oh! And it's Fernando. To of course it is. Oh, dab on them one pack just so they know you stumped. Is that Torres? It looked like Torres. But oh my days. Carrasco tried to get a little cross in. I don't think it wasn't the runner. It was Koke or Sol. One of the two. So. Ha! Alright, so far. Listen, my tactic. Listen. Y'all have to call me. Wolf Ardiola soon because your, your man's. It, it worked. We got a goal. Another draw, but. Um, it's not a loss, and it's a draw that doesn't affect us that badly because uh, we're still going to be top of the table in our Champions League group. Um, it was a tense game, and I mean, as soon as we changed to you know the formation that we did, uh, things started to get a lot better. But I think fitness took its toll, and not only did fitness take its toll, Felipe Luiz has also picked up an injury, so fitness was definitely an issue within this game uh, towards the end of it trying to go forward we just weren't we didn't have enough pace we didn't have enough strength and we uh we were breaking down their back five but we just i don't know just the end result wasn't there so a 1-1 draw i'll take that though and uh we need to get an update on uh, felipe Luiz's injury oh we've got a transfer and offer 29.8 million euros for your boy gaitan from uh, liverpool this time and uh, there's no way I'm selling him for that. So we're going to have to negotiate here and see what we can do with my boy Young. <sighs> see what you got to say about this. We're coming in with them spec. I'm hungry as hell. Proposed new transfer offer. Actually, I'm going to be generous. I'm going to go down. I'm going to be. I think I'm thinking I was being a bit too too much. Let me go. Actually, now, now let me stay at 50. Let me stay at 50. If he lowers, then we'll sort it out. He said 29.8. He he said that's his final offer. I'm going to go with. Give me give me 40. Give me 40. Submit offer. Cheese! There we go. 40 million accepted by Jurgen Klopp and that I mean it's not as much as I wanted to get for Gaitan but it's, it's better and I probably should have just given that to Arsenal but yeah 40 million for Gaitan now he's just got to uh, talk to them as you, as you can see there the negotiation status is ongoing so he's just got to talk to them and see what they want from him and see what he wants from them and then um, hopefully he'll be a Liverpool player and uh, we can use that money financially elsewhere but uh yeah we've got a game coming up here against san Domingo, and we need to go up on the table because we are literally um, only a point in front of uh of barcelona so hopefully we can get a win here today uh, obviously we're playing three games now because the flipping access is done so we we don't need to worry about that but we're gonna go here in our home kit and uh yeah let's do this man i'm gonna use the second team actually no Actually, yeah, give the second team a run. I'm going to use the second team here against uh, Celta Vigo. And we've got Vieto there. Actually, I'm even going to play some youngsters. I'm going to play some youngsters because um, I haven't played Party, So I'm going to bring him on for Fernandez. Um, who else haven't I played? I haven't played Werner either. Um, I'm not playing. Your pace is just heartbreaking. Sign this guy. He is a youth prospect. Um, brought him up to the first team and I'm going to start training him once I get a, you know more results coming out of um, Roque where he looks he looks like he's going to be promising man Roque looks like he's going to be a, a, a really decent player but no one I really want to play out of these guys to be honest with you um, but yeah we'll leave at that and uh, we'll get into this game here against Celta Vigo let's do that Mario Gomez up the top I believe not trying to pronounce that Marchuk's name on the left, so we just roll with it. Sisto on the right. They got Vas and Hernandez. Is that Pablo Hernandez? Or Pet? Anyway, uh, and then they got Jose Abed in defensive midfield. Johnny left back. Cabral centre back with Ron Caglia as centre back, and Kevin as right back. Sergio and goal. Some of those players I've never heard of. I need to just tear this team a new hole, honestly and truthfully. No, nope. no. Nope. 
Nope, that was too easy. That was way too easy. <laughs> that was way too easy. Vigo just left Torres open. And Torres is going to get another goal of the season. The match too good. Why did I sell him? Oh, Lord. Jesus. Why did I sell him? Why did I decide to place this man on the transfer list? Somebody explain to me, please. Because I'm not understanding. Look, oh my, look, Torres tricked his man disgustingly and slotted that in the back of the net. And uh, now, currently, he's got two goals in Santander, but I believe he's got four goals in the Champions League, or maybe five even. I'm not too sure. I think it's four. Here's Sikera. Ping dead! Guy to no, do guy something! Down. Guy to do. Oh, Lord! He lost the ball. Toes. He lost the... No, this is a finish. This is... This Gabby. is a finish! Oh, off the, the post! <laughs> Lord, help your it's boy! Oh, why then? Shimmy Shaka for Kataka. Don't do this! Okay. No, Terrible. You need one. shooting practice. You need to train harder. And you need to uh, talk to your coach about where Gabby. you stand in terms of, you know... Starting every now, game Thomas. because that was terrible. A few nerves out there today. They've got a Grease lot of dead. Grease. 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 Super goal. <laughs> oh my gosh. How can you be so good? Like how? And that's off the, off the wing. Not as a striker. Off the wing. Ripped it. Ripped it through the keeper's legs. Ay, ay, ay. You didn't have to do him that dirt. You didn't have to do him that dirty. Oh, Lord. And play on. I'm about to get an another one. Anyway, fans are booing. Hold on. So, this is how the table looks now, and, um, boy, Barcelona passed me. <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, uh, uh, well, it, we're still in the top three. I don't want to fit, uh, well, I want to finish in the Champions League, so I'll take whatever position. That is the goal for this season. Uh, but yeah, we're not doing bad. Uh, we've had one loss this season, three draws, and five wins. Uh, we have a total points of 18. Real Madrid on 23, Barcelona on 20. We're still in the mix. We're still in the mix. Uh, down there in the relegation zone, though, we have got Malaga, uh, Girona, and Leganes. So Girona just signed Patrick Herman, and my boy is struggling <laughs> to keep him out of the relegation zone. Malaga, shockingly, down there. Uh, they, I don't know if they still got... They do have a couple gems in that team, so I'm going to have a look. But anyway, if you've enjoyed the episode, it's been a big episode. Obviously, we have... Well, hopefully, we've sold Gaetan to Liverpool for 40 million euros. Uh, he's just agreeing the terms with Liverpool right now. We've also taken the international job with France. We are now inter uh, France's international manager. And obviously, we played against Barcelona, Chelsea and Celta Vigo in this episode. Um, so very big episode man very big so if you've enjoyed the episode make sure you do leave a like on the video smash that like button i will see you for the next one take care of yourselves peace